today I'm going to show you how to use the instant alpha feature in Keynote and in Pages. And it works the same in both once you have an image, so I'm going to show you in Keynote today. So to start off, um, I've opened up Keynote and I'm just going to choose a slide deck theme that I want to use and go ahead and open that file. So here's my slide deck. Let's say that um, this project is going to be about frogs. So I'm going to type frogs in there. I'm going to delete that and move that over there a little bit. So my next step is to include an image. So to do that, I've actually already found my image and it's on my background. So I'm just going to grab it and I'm going to drag it into my keynote. So you can say, see that's a pretty large image of a frog there. So I'm going to grab my corner here and I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to put it over here. Okay. So this is okay. Super cute frog. My topic's frogs, but I've got this big white box around this image, and we don't want that. It doesn't look very clean. It doesn't look neat. So Instant Alpha is the feature that you use to get rid of a background color or a specific color in an image. So to do that, I'm going to select my image. It's already selected. I'm going to go up and choose my Image tab, and I'm going to choose Instant Alpha. You can see down here, it tells you click a color to make it transparent, drag to make similar colors transparent. So if I go up here and I click, you can see what it does. It's going to pick out everything that's the exact same color there. Um, but you can see that I've got kind of this ugly line um, around my frog. So I'm going to reset that. I'm going to click and then and hold and then I'm going to drag a little bit. You can see my cursor is going up to 4%, 5%. If I get really, really all the way 65, you can see it starts to um, actually take out the colors of my frog. So what that percentage is, is the um, percentage likeness of the color that was the initial color you chose. So I'm just going to stick with 12% because it looks pretty close around my frog. Let it go. And there you can see how much of the background it took out. I still have some pieces over here that I want to take out. So I'm just going to click and drag again. You can see that pink there. So I can make sure that it's not taking away any of the color that I want to leave. So we're just going to continue on with this. A little bit of white right there. Sometimes you may have to play around. Sometimes you take out too much and you have to go back. Let's see what we can get here. And then I'm going to click done. All right, so I see a little bit more there. I'm going to hit instant alpha again. Go back and take that out. A little bit of white right there. So I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to click Done. So now you can see that now I have a happy little frog. It looks like he's just sitting right there on my background. So that's what you're going to use Instant Alpha for. You can, again, find it when you select an image under the image tab and that's going to work the same for both Keynote and Pages. It's also available on the iPad so stay tuned for another little video that will show you how to use Instant Alpha in Keynote and Pages on the iPad. Thanks.